guys, can you guess what we're doing today? Because I'm makeupless. <laughs> I am actually going to be doing a, another um, ocean inspired makeup look to add to our little series we have going. Today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by a really beautiful sea anemone. So I will, I'll pop the picture up in the corner so you can see it closer. Um, but it's just super pretty. It has some pretty pinks and just deep blues in it and I wanted to create a look on it today. So if you guys want to see how the look inspired by the scene enemy turns out, <laughs> then just keep on watching. To start this look out, I am going to actually start with this really pretty like, you can see it, navy blue that is in the palette. And I am going to work that into my crease just to kind of start adding the touch of blue and I'll mainly focus it on my outer V. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the Gachi Covered Concealer. Just, we're going to carve out the inner part of the eye. So this is where I'm going to lay the pinks down and I also want them to be a lot more pigmented so we're going to cover just from the inner corner and up through that middle section with the concealer so that those pinks go on nice and pigmented. So we're going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to go for this pink color right here and I'm going to pack that just on the middle part of the eyelid working toward the um, inner corner. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> Okay, so now to brighten up the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to grab the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette and I'm going to take Seashell and just put that on the inner corners of my eye. And then to brighten up the middle a bit more, I am going to go into another BH Cosmetic palette here. I'm just going to take a bit of this pink, ah, can you guys see it? Hold it back here. This pink shade right here, and just to help brighten up the middle a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put the finishing touches on the eyes now. I'm just going to take this really pretty charcoal like black color it's not super black but it's like a dark gray and I'm going to use my crease brush and I'm actually going to concentrate that even more on the outer V and slightly just bring it in just to deepen up this look even just a little bit more guys so I'm gonna remove the tape now Ooh. And we have those really, really pretty sharp lines. I love that about using this technique. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face. I'm just going to quickly run through the products. I will make sure to list them down below if you're interested in what I use for the rest of my makeup. And then we will put the finishing touches on the eyes and I will see you at the end.
that is it for the sea anemone inspired makeup look i hope you all enjoyed watching it just as much as i enjoyed filming it doing these ocean inspired makeup looks has definitely been interesting and it's definitely gotten me out of my little makeup box that i normally stay in which is basically neutral looks um if you did like this video definitely give it a big thumbs up that way i know you want more and i can keep making more for you there is about maybe three more looks left in this series so yeah i'm really excited to film them if you're not subscribed make sure you go hit that subscribe button down below that way you can join our little blushing forward family here on youtube and we'd love to have you also while you're down there hit the little bell that way you'll be notified whenever a new video comes up and you'll also be notified when those other ocean inspired makeup looks go up so definitely go do that i will see you guys in my next video keep blushing forward bye